Hello everybody, my name's Schwan and I'm on Vector Gaming and a friend of mine, Mile High, made a great script using Python to help us out during our ESCA matches. He called it ESCA Add-ons Fix. And what it does is it let's go into our TF folder real quick. And you'll see I have an add-ons folder. Uh, most players do, especially if you use PREC. Um, so PREC, as everyone probably knows, is you know when you join a server that's using tournament mode, like a scrim server or a pug server or a match server, it records a demo of your POV and saves kill streaks in a text file. So it's super useful if you ever plan on making a video or let's for example the COMFT tournament that requires that you record a POV demo every time. It's really useful for those cir circumstances. Um, but the problem is most players don't use this because when they have to go then and play their ESEA match they have to disable it and that's a real pain. So why don't I fix that? So let's get into how he did that exactly and how do we install it. So if you download this program or whatever program, sure, why not? You'll it's a zip file, and you'll see these three file, four files, three folders. Uh, when you open it, the first one is an add-ons folder, and that is simply just PREC. This is the most updated version of PREC as of September fifth, two thousand eleven. Um, and PREC does everything I just explained. If you're interested, just pop this folder into your TF folder. All right, now we're going to move on to what Mile High actually did, which are these two scripts right here. Now, we're all gamers here. We all like technology. I'm sure that everyone that's watching this video probably knows whether or not their system is 64 or 32 bit. But if you don't, go to the control panel and then click on system. And then this screen should come up. And if you scroll down, you'll see system type 64 bit operating system. All right, that tells us that I'm running a 64 bit system. It'll say 32 if you're a 32 bit system. And that directly correlates with the numbers on the end of these folders. So I'm using 64, so I'll take this folder out. Great. So I'm going to drag this folder a little bit over here, and all you need to do to install it is put it in your TF folder. So let's just do that now. Boom. So it's in, it's in our TF folder, and it's effectively already installed. There's only one more step we have to do, and it's kind of a bummer, but ESCA requires it. So if, if you've ever launched ESCA client before, you'll notice you have to run it as an administrator in order for it to work. And the same applies to the script. Now, some people get kind of scared when you, you, they run things at administrators that aren't, trust, that aren't trusted, uh, but I'll show you the code for the script afterwards, and you'll see there's, there's nothing fishy going on here. In fact, I'm going to run exactly what you have at home right now. So let's go to the properties of this, ESCA underscore add-on fix dot exe. That's what we're going to be running. So we're going to right-click on that. We're going to go to properties. We're going to go to compatibility. Then we're going to check mark run this program as administrator for the reasons I mentioned earlier. Hit apply. Okay, and we're ready to go. Um, you have a few options. Every t so now, whenever you want to la launch the ESCA client, you should click this instead. So I'm going to I'm going to just make this a shortcut and put it on the desktop. There it is. Okay. So now here's my ESCA add-ons fix shortcut on my desktop. Now, uh, if you're using Windows 7, you can pin that to your taskbar, or you could uh, do anything you wanted with it. Uh, but now, when you click this a prompt will come up asking you for elevated privileges, you allow it, otherwise this won't work, and you'll see the ESCA client la launches. Uh, we'll log in here and we'll see this is the ESCA client, and you know, start getting into your match. But the beauty of this is, let's go back, look at our TF folder, and look what happened. The add-ons folder is now renamed, and as you know, TF2, when you launch TF2, it won't recognize any add-ons that aren't in the literal add-ons folder. If, it, if the add-ons folder is called anything else, it won't recognize that there are any add-ons. So if you rename the folder before you launch TF2, you won't run into the problem of ESCA saying, hey, you can't have add-ons uh, add while playing on the ESCA servers. So this will disable all your add-ons the second you launch the ESCA client. Okay, so we're in client right now. Let's open up the client again. So we're in client. We do our match. We lose. You know, whatever. It happens. And we close the client and we're done for the day. Um, but let's say we wanted to get one more scrim in and you don't and but I want to keep using PREC. Before I'd have to go into my TF folder and then reinstall PREC or I would have to, you know, if I was crafty, rename the folder manually every, every, every time. And no one wants to do that, so no one really uses PREC. But now if we go into the TF folder, the add-ons folder is already renamed and the program and PREC is still active and in there. So when you open the ESCA client, it changes the folder name, and then you can play TF2 normally. And when you close the client, 
it changes the folder name back to just add-ons so you it does everything automatically so you don't have to do it yourself um, and that's it for the video but if you're interested in the code behind this which is pretty important to just you know show that we're not doing anything funny here let's go ahead and edit this code and this is what it looks like it's really um, you know it's 18 lines of code there's no logging going on here we're not going to steal your ECA account we're not going to take pictures with your webcam nothing <laughs> nothing ridiculous like that so don't worry um, use this program if you think it'd be useful for you and uh, that's that's it I'm done I'm out of here